Hello there, and welcome back to our tandem bicycle tour across the wild country of Georgia. So far on our journey, Ashola and I had pedalled our way north through the mountainous and beautiful region of Muxeta. Our destination? The mystical village of Chatilly, nestled in a valley just south of the Russian border. But to get there, we first had to make our way over the top of an 8,800 foot mountain pass. Not the tallest climb in the world by any means, but with a rocky uneven surface and a 70 kilogram bike to contend with, it certainly wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> he's following us. Oh, he's so cute. We got a friend, have we? As we just said. Bye -bye. Can't us, Doug? All right, the hills begin. Are you ready for this, my dear? Yeah. This is getting rough, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I'll go left, us. Yeah. That's great. Chess, minuta. Yes. Misha, Misha. 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 Edward. Uh, Edward? Shola. Uh, Jena? Shola. Shola. Yeah. Uh, Можем да. да. Photo, да. 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 Откуда, откуда? Англия. Англия. А, mm -hmm. Англия. Mm -hmm. О, лошадь, да? <laughs> а, дай, дай. You take it, you take it. Да, давайте. Вы садитесь на велосипед. Mm -hmm. Еще mm -hmm. раз. А, это видео. Видео, да. А, видео. Вау. Отлично. До свидания. Давай, бачу, бачу. Куда? Куда? Мадлоба. Мадлоба. Я на хвам здесь. На хвам здесь, давай так. This was the longest continuous climb we'd ever faced on the tandem, and I'd say we were doing pretty great. Equally, I'd be lying if I said we didn't find it bloody tough, but by dropping the bike into first gear and slowly pedalling, we were steadily making progress. So I guess this is where all the cows and the sheep we saw yesterday, this is where they bring them to graze. The switchbacks were where the gradient really began to kick upwards. And it was here, on some of these steeper sections, that we decided to step off and push. But with next to no traffic, and such an incredible backdrop, even if it was a slight struggle, it was also just a real pleasure to be out travelling through such a beautiful landscape. After around four hours of alternating between pedalling and walking, we gradually made it around the final switchback, and the top of the pass came into view. We're pretty sure this is the top. Woohoo! Party time! Top of the mountain. Oh yeah. Look at that for a view. Snow capped peak over there. Can't really complain. Uh, Looks like Iceland, doesn't it? Okay. Well done. Yeah, we've got 15 miles of downhill to Chatilly, and it is, it's literally all downhill. A few spots of water. Just, yeah. just focus on, on the road. Oh, absolutely. No, just no, no, don't no. dare looking at the camera. 
Absolutely. You look at the camera, we we'll stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Ready? No, not yet. Focused? No. Let me just. <sighs> My feet are cold. I know. Just leave the pedals for now, one second. Let me just get this thing positioned. Okay. Take it slow, it. okay? Take it very, very slow. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, let's do this. Wow. Cool, cool, cool. A car back. Okay, let's just stop for a second. Just go slowly. That's right, you don't that's need right, to right. stop. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, but yesterday night I went to sleep watching your video. Hi. 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 You're traveling together. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Good to meet you. Nice. Will it be a YouTube video? You will. We're just recording <laughs> the. Subscribe, uh... Ed Pratt. <laughs> Thank you very much. What's your name? Jonas. Jonas. Nice Jonas, to meet you, Jonas. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Where about? How is Georgia for you? It's lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Where are you heading now? Uh, we're, we're going to. Chatilly. Chatilly, yeah. Yeah, no. we're also going we're, there. We're planning to, uh, to stay there. Yeah, uh, we're okay, also staying there. Too, yeah. <laughs> You're planning to go there today? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice. it's, all, it's all downhill, so I think we'll be Shit. okay. Okay, so you've traveled around Hornwall, yeah? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 1,000 and a half. <laughs> where you guys started? In Tbilisi, this is day four, so... Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're an inspiration. Thank nice. you. Do, do you cycle? Yeah, 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 a bit, yeah. Also traveled a bit, but but not like this. We did yeah. some, some, some bikepacking, but this is extreme, nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, well, we'll probably see you in Chatilly, yeah? Yeah, see you in Chatilly. <laughs> see you, Jonas. Ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, one. Let's do Good. <laughs> and it will get warmer and it will get less windy. It will get less extreme. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Just, wasn't it? Uh, careful. Yeah, they kind of look, and I was like, what? <laughs> it prats. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that pass was 2,680 meters. <laughs> And now we're going to drop, I don't even know, we're probably going to drop about a thousand meters right now to Chatilly over a, about 15 miles, but it's going to be the easiest 15 miles we've ever ridden. Oh. We're staying this side. Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, Asha? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. It's just cold. I know, I know. Yeah. Nah, it's quite all right, <gasps> isn't it? Careful. Oh, shit, yeah, you scare me. Uh, I got you, mate. Please trust yeah, me. Yeah, I trust you, but <laughs> I don't trust the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, that's oh, bollocks. so oh, pale. Bollocks. Oh. oh, bollocks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried to avoid that rock and went straight over it. Good. That's great. Cool view. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. See you in Chatilly. I'll see you there. Are you guys going after back? Back. Back to Tbilisi. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, oh. Okay, this is fun actually. <laughs> it is fun, isn't it? Now it's getting better because before the hail was just killing my eyes. <laughs> now it's okay. It looks really, really pretty. It's really pretty, actually. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just pretty. <laughs> but it just looks scary with all these roads just going down. It's, and with the bumpy road, and yeah. you just don't know when you're going to slip on a rock and just <laughs> flip nah. over. Um, the, brakes, the brakes are good. And, yeah. And I'm, no, not, I'm not going to take us too near the edge, you know? No, it's just when you're on the back of a tandem, it just feels different, you know? It just feels more bumpy, and it feels like you're jumping, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. I oh, know, I'd hate to be on the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give up all control? No yeah. thanks. No, you do, you do amazingly, Ashley. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Woohoo! Because, <laughs> yeah, I only. The uh, second video from the Cornwall Southwest Coast series dropped yesterday on YouTube, so it must be quite confusing for him, seeing me, like seeing us. <laughs> in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you're in the UK and now you're, now you're here. W whenever you post anything, people always think it's current. Yeah. Even if you expressly say like this was back in 2016 or, or whatever else. Yoo-hoo. Wow, 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 wow. Yoo-hoo. Wow. Yoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Georgia is beautiful. Georgia 
Sakartvelos Gamarjos! Sakartvelos Gamarjos! <laughs> but we have to come back up this. This is insanity. <laughs> I feel like it's much steeper this side. Yeah, no, it looks steeper to be honest. Whoa. And gradual turning. Yeah. Three, two, one, turn. Sorry, I was a little bit angry. Not no. angry, I was just a little bit frustrated. Not frustrated, I was a little bit cold. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's a climb. <laughs> no, I, I was faffing around. You just wanted to keep moving, didn't you? I get it. No, no, no. It's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's nice to do this stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just sometimes you just get too cold and you're like, oof, I'm actually sure. like, it's not fun, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Just a little bit of speed. I'll keep it easy, but just... <laughs> yeah! I'm just going to ease you into it, all right? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm happy that we're leveling up, actually. Yeah. So, hoo hoo! Yee hoo! <laughs> The descent really was something else. After a long day spent heaving the bike over the pass, it was wonderful giving our legs a rest and letting the tandem just roll down through this ancient gorge. <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> oh, just found a way to get to the place. Before we knew it, Chatilly was upon us. <laughs> and as we were beginning to feel a little bit damp from the rain, it was a relief to finally arrive. Uh, we're going to stay at a guest house for a couple of nights, I think. There's like no other guests here. We're, we're definitely on the tail end of the season and obviously because of COVID stuff as well. Not a lot of people are, there's not a lot of tourists in the country full stop at the moment. But um, yeah, found a place. Just cooked dinner. It is more pasta. Wow. Could you guess? We eat a lot of pasta, but it's a very easy food. <laughs> and it's all we have. Because the there's, no, there's no real restaurants around here. And there's no shops here. And there's so. no shops, so we're having to just eat through our supplies. But that's all right. Anyway, how are you? Good, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm a little bit cold because um, it's what cold is it? In here, it's isn't it? pretty much October now, and yeah, Chatili in October is quite cold. The houses are quite empty because there are not so many tourists, and yeah, guest house is pretty much ours. But it you is have ours, to be wearing yeah. the socks, which was a good uh, purchase. Yeah, it was very good purchase because uh, yeah, I was sleeping in them and I was walking in them and. They were serving great and if you are in Georgia and some lady comes to you and say, hey, do you want some socks? Just follow her. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, food. Oh, I was so excited. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yama Joba and welcome to Chatilly. It's uh, quite pretty here. We didn't get to appreciate it too much last night because we were kind of riding in in the rain. But uh, this morning is just stunning. Yeah, and and just these tiny, even though it's the biggest kind of village around here, it's still only got a population of about 30 people. And a lot of people, especially the people that run the guest houses here, like, like uh, Layla, who's running the guest house we're staying at, uh, at the end of the season, so like October time, she then goes and, and moves away from the valley because the uh, the pass that we crossed yesterday that closes because of the snow yeah we are on a little bit of a walk today on a little bit of a mission heading sure. to a place called anatori, anatori okay. uh, where we're gonna go see the anatori village and something called the anatori tombs mm -hmm. you're gonna follow us for a bit go on then go on then but first, we plan to explore Chatilly's impressive towered fortress. Strategically positioned here in the Ahun Canyon, this complex serves as protection from threats coming through the valley to the north. Get my job. Wow. 
Believed to have been constructed around 300 years ago, from slate collected from the surrounding area, this maze of connected rooms was once dwelling for the residents of Chatilly. The windows are doors and the doors are windows, I like it. Through we go. Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Should we explore another dark room? <laughs> oh wow, this one's freaky. It's got a beam across it. Can't really go in that one. Now, however, the dozen or so families that did stay year round lived in modern houses surrounding the complex. And it seemed it was only the stray dogs that called this fortress home. <laughs> you got it, mate. <laughs> nice t shirt, by the way, Asha. Look at that. Look at that. Ted Pratt. Me. I wonder where you can buy one of those. <laughs> Look at that t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Came, designed. <laughs> came all the way to Chatilly yeah. Fortress. After a little poking about through the old slate towers, we came across some familiar faces. <laughs> yeah, he's very cute. He has like, kind of like weird eyes. He doesn't look like a wild one though, right? He looks more no, domestic. No, he, he belongs to a, a family over there. But he's just loud he, to he be. He actually looks kind of fat, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's so... I think he's the one that gets fed, yeah. He yeah. is well fed, yeah. <laughs> But uh, we, we went to our, to our host and actually there was some, a bowl with porridge in it. Uh -huh. so, okay. Ah, they were feeding the dog, yeah? So there is food for them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it turned out Jonas and Erismus, the guys we met on the pass the day before, had stayed at a guest house closer to the fortress. It, it is a smell, it's almost empty. It's like smell of a ram, just <laughs> smell it. Like, like oh ram. yeah, wow. <laughs> Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I just need a stick, you know, like a stick and a little bit of sheep with me. Here they come. Okay. <laughs> Here's the pack. Here's the pack. <laughs> they told us they were from Lithuania and only had one week in Georgia, so we're spending it driving around and seeing what they could see in that time. Oh, you don't see my eyes now and see yours, so you don't know my intentions. Uh -huh. Like us, they were planning to explore Anatory, so we all jumped in their hire car and headed up the gorge. The abandoned village of Anatori is famous for its history of courage and sacrifice. According to the legend, when a wave of black death spread through this region in the 18th century, Anatori was hit hard. After residents began dying from the disease, these slate burial vaults were constructed a distance away from the village to help try and curb infection. In an attempt to protect friends and family, those who fell ill would make the journey down from the village crawl into these structures and simply wait to die. They would lay on the kind of shelves that were built and uh, just wait for death. So it's incredible just to protect the people in the village like half a kilometre away. Um, so maybe that their friends and their family wouldn't get it. Uh, but I think all but three people died um, at this time. And yeah, you can see many many human remains, many bones through these little windows. It's, it's quite something, isn't it? Today, the bones from these selfless people still remain on the slate shelves, and it was pretty moving to walk around these tombs, understanding the sacrifice that once took place in this valley. It's just, it's yeah, great. just looking after the community. Like, I don't know if I'll be strong enough to do this. It's, it's quite something. And it's, and it's amazing that this place has been preserved the way it has been, and you can still come and see it. It's quite sad, really. It is sad. It's very yeah. heroic, but it's sad, kind of, kind of make me feel like very heavy in the chest. doesn't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our aim for the rest of the day was to continue up this gorge the remaining eight miles to the termination of the road. 
The next valley over marked where Georgia ended and the Russian Republic of Chechnya began. So we decided it would be an interesting idea to reach the edge of the country, peer into Russia, and just see what we could see. On the way, we stopped off at the village of Mutso. Have you seen it? Can you see the, oh, the castles yeah, over there? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can only wonder what it took for people at those <laughs> ages like to climb, okay. to bring all the stones. So impressive. Wow. wow. With its fortified slate towers, it looked very similar to Chatilly, but with one very important difference. Mutso was built on the side of an impressively steep mountain. We read that since 2014, the Georgian government had been heading a rehabilitation project here in Mutso to rebuild damaged towers and to help ensure long-term preservation of the site. As we wandered our way up through the village, we spotted recently constructed wooden ladders and floorboards. We also saw evidence of newly placed slate, even slate, slate steps, all stacked on top of each other without mortar in the original construction style. It's actually pretty cozy. You can see the road, you can see the valley. You can shoot at the enemy here. Yeah. You can see red poop also here. Originally, all this stone would have been carried up the mountain by hand. Now, however, the materials needed for this project were lifted up with modern winching equipment. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, here's, here's, a, here's one of the winches here, I think. Yeah. They load up the slate on this bed here, and then they just winch it up all the way to the top. This simple but highly skilled method of building reminded me of the dry stone walls you see in parts of the UK. Again, this seems pretty solid, but don't, don't rely on it. He says while he's relying on it. Okay. It was a pretty dramatic place to explore, and it was good to see that efforts were being made to help preserve this spectacular village. Anyway, we were still on a mission to reach the end of this road, so we kept on driving. Soon, the road deteriorated into more of a suggestion through the mountain. And as we climbed higher up some switchbacks, our wheels began to creep uncomfortably close to the track's edge. <laughs> are you scared, are you? Mm, a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh... oh! Okay, can we do that? Yeah. <laughs> so far, so far, no, no slipping, no nothing. What? <laughs> <laughs> After some more downright sketchy driving, the track finally ran out and we arrived at our dotty guest house. Yeah, we were surprised to find a guest house up here too. Oh, they have like white houses oh. over there. Mm -hmm. He told us that just over the hill, we'll be able to see Mount Tibulos Mata, the highest peak in the entire Chechen Republic. Yeah.
So that was it. The road we'd been following for the previous five days had ended, and now the only way to continue was on foot. As we wandered up the hillside through some long grass, suddenly the 14,500 foot Tebulus Matter mountain towered into view. Marking the far edge of Georgia, it was pretty impressive, and the clouds obscuring the very top only made it seem grander. It had been a pretty full-on week, and it was nice just sitting there, admiring the colossal peaks and enjoying the silence. If you remember, at the beginning of this tour, Aishola and I weren't even originally planning to cycle through this valley. We'd only chosen it because the traffic on the main route had become far too unpleasant, and it seemed like this might be a good alternative. Now sitting here, at the very edge of the country, staring into Chechnya and surrounded by beautiful snow-capped peaks, I'm so glad that we made that impromptu decision. Travelling down this road had been one proper adventure and a great introduction to Georgia, and we only hope that this will continue in the next stage of our tour as we headed back down to Tbilisi and then began our journey west towards the Black Sea. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we hope to see you next time as our tandem bicycle Georgian tour continues. See ya. If you'd like to watch the next episode right now, you can for as little as $2 on Patreon. And if you're feeling really impatient, you can head over to Vimeo and binge this entire series from start to finish over there. Your support is greatly appreciated.